and welcome to today's edition of the News in Brief. In the headlines, anti-corruption group accuses government of treating Auditor General unfairly. Outspoken member of the NDC, Alote Jacob, says he's now a supporter of the ruling NPP. And black satellite players to receive 10,000 each for winning under 20 AFCON. News in Brief is brought to you by... Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. And now the news in brief. The Coalition of Civil Society Organization Against Corruption has charged the Presidency and the Audit Service Board of unfairly targeting the Auditor General, Mr. Daniel Yao and forcing him to go on retirement. A member of the group, Dr. Kojo Pumpunia Sante, who was speaking at a press conference in Accra on Wednesday, said the actions by the audit service confirms belief that Mr. Domlevo was unfairly treated. Mr. Domlevo exhausted his 167-day mandatory leave and reported to work on March 3. However, days before resuming work, the audit service board in a letter addressed to the president stated, that Mr. Domlevo should have retired on June 1, 2020. The hurriedly orchestrated queries and decisions taken by our audit service board, acting in concert with the Office of the President, and the President's unilateral decision to forcibly retire Mr. Domlevo on the same day he returned to post from an equally forced accumulated leave, confirms our belief that Mr. Domlevo has been unfairly targeted. The coalition notes we regret that the Supreme Court is yet to determine two suits relating to the constitutionality of the Auditor General's force accumulated leave by the President, which was filed by Professor Kwekwesari and nine CSOs in July and October 2020, respectively. In part, this delay in hearing these time-sensitive cases have rendered some of the issues raised before the court moot and has allowed a grave breach of, of the Constitution to fester, at least in our estimation. The former Central Regional Chairman of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, Bernard Alote Jacob, says he's no longer a member of the NDC party. He has switched allegiance to now support President Tukufado's agenda for the country. Mr. Alote Jacobs, who was speaking on Accra-based Peace FM's Kokoko radio program Wednesday morning, explained that the President and his Vice, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, have so far done a good job in managing the affairs of the country. He says although he is not a member of the new patriotic party, he will support the NPP government. Mr. Lute Jacobs was suspended from the NDC in 2020 for what the party described as his persistent anti-party conduct. We have a president in the person of Nana Kufad and that is why I have declared to support him and his Vice President. Kami, Morocan wa wusti di oha. They are no longer belong to NDC. Morocan wa wusti di oha. And Joe, as us men, we are going to dismiss him. No, I no longer belong to NDC. How I'm not an NPP member, I will never be an NPP. I dismiss, but the, I dismiss, but the fact is that in our last story, President Ekufado has announced a package of 10,000 US dollars each for players of the national under 20 football team, the Black Satellite. The team emerged champions of the just ended under 20 African Cup of Nations. Each member of the technical team will also receive 5,000 US dollars, according to the president, as an expression of the country's appreciation to them for winning the tournament. The country is very proud of your achievement. We've had, we have a, a package for you, which I'm sure the minister and you, the GFA president and your team leader has talked to you about, which will enable you to at least should receive the gratitude of the nation. It's a token, but it's something to tell you how very happy Ghanaians are with what you have done. Each one of the, of the team is receiving $10,000 from the government. The technical team, the coach, all the rest, everybody is going to be receiving $5,000 as an ex expression of 
our appreciation. And because we know that sports is a short journey, uh, the life of the top is, is a short journey, the decision has been made that the $10,000, you get $5,000 of it in cash, and $5,000 is going to be invested for you over the next 10 years so that you have something also to look forward to. So altogether is what? It's $330,000, is it? $330,000 is what the, pe the people of Ghana are, are going to are giving to you to express their gratitude and their appreciation for what you have done. Your money is going to be done that way. Thank you for watching. We will see you again tomorrow with another edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH. I am Juliet Echansafo.